everyone, I'm Candace, and today I'm going to show you around my craft room! I've gotten a lot of questions about where I got a lot of this stuff, so I thought I would do a little tour and kind of explain where I got everything and what I use it for, and hopefully that'll answer a lot of the questions I've been asked since I posted a lot of pictures on my social media. Um, it's probably going to be a little bit of a long video, so I'm sorry about that, but I'll try to break everything down and make it as easy to follow as possible. And um, I guess we'll start over here. So this is my entryway. I'm going to do my best because it's a little narrow through here. Um, but we'll start on this side. So this is my finished product wall. It's where I store all of my Etsy shop products for Geeky Gazelle and Doodle Leaf, my two shops. Um, I've got most of them on this pegboard here that I got from Amazon. Um, it's metallic so that I can put magnets and stuff on it, which is really handy. I really like having everything on this pegboard because I can rearrange and move around everything because I make a lot of different things. So being able to adjust is really, really handy. Um, and then I've got my stickers on this wall over here next to it. They're in business card holders, but they're perfect for my stickers and everything there. And then down here, these are just little baskets that fit on a pegboard. I got them also on Amazon, but I painted them to match everything. And then if I get down here in the floor, whoop, we've got... These little spice racks are from Ikea. I painted them to match as well. And they're where I store my signs and Etsy tra or resin trays for Etsy. And then um, this little bag here has all my extra pegs in it. And then finally, all the way down here at the bottom, I've got a stack of totes that stores all my bigger things and things that don't quite fit on the pegboard very well. And on this side over here, we've got the dreaded craft closet. As you can see, I took the doors both off of this closet and the main door because this little entryway is super, super narrow and those doors are just really in the way of everything. So taking them off really helped open up the space a little bit. Um, this is where I store all my big stuff that doesn't really have a way to look nice for the most part. I've got everything in about 9 billion plastic bins. I'm actually going to start on the bottom this time. Excuse me, Molly. Um, so these are my totes. Um, this top one here has paper in it, a bunch of large paper. These bottom two here, I make baskets. So those are my basket weaving materials. The bottom one's all my basket read and the top one's like dye and things like that. Um, that's a stack of paper that needs to be put away. Um, this is a tote for all of my resin molds, mainly the molds that I don't use a whole lot or my really, really large ones I keep over here because I have a spot for my more frequently used ones a little bit closer to my table. And then all of my wood for wood signs and things like that are in the bottom three totes along with a couple of other things in that very bottom one. And then hidden behind my shower curtain over here is all of these top two. Not all of them, the bottom one is mugs that I paint, and then these top two here are for um, floral things, and there's some stems peeking out there, there. And on this second shelf here, all of these are storage boxes from Michael's meant for 4x6 photos. I have all of my wooden embellishments in them. They're great for that. Um, I can also store like flowers and seasonal things in them and it's just awesome to have them all organized in a nice little spot there. These totes here are things mainly for Geeky Gazelle. I have a bunch of trading cards, um, some more mugs in that middle one there, and 
Um, that top box is like floppy disks, just general nerdy things that I use to craft with. And then this middle section is, oops, let me fix my camera here. This middle section is where I take all of my product photos. You can see right now I've got a couple of necklaces on here that I need to take pictures of and just a couple of things in general that need to be photographed. I've got these two lights. Again, I got them from Amazon. Um, and all of this surrounding it <laughs> is stuff I use for photos and photo props. And then all the way at the top is some more flowers, mainly floral in almost all of those totes, and then a couple of miscellaneous craft supplies there at the very end. But this is by far the messiest area of my craft room, but um, I like it still. It's, it's nice and organized. And just inside my entryway, we have Rosie, my mannequin, I've had her for a very long time. I used to use her a lot more back when I screen printed and things like that. But not so much anymore, but she's been around for a long time, so she gets to stay. And then on the wall here, these are templates for envelopes. The top two are templates there, and then these two are punch boards. And then down here is Molly, my cat. Um... This is a bag of colored pencils, all neatly organized by color on the inside. And then that is my cinch book binding tool. I use it quite a bit, so I like to keep it where I can reach it. Um, and then this, this is a lac shelf from Ikea. And all of these little boxes here are for storing embellishments. Uh, mainly for jewelry making. Um, I've got some charms and things like that, but they're, <laughs> they're all embellishments and tiny things for various projects. And uh, they're organized in these little anti-tarnish bins that I got from Joann's. Um, and they are fantastic. <laughs> um, at the top, whoop, that is my button maker mainly used for Geeky Gazelle for uh, conventions and stuff. Um, so it lives up there. Um, on the side of my Ikea Calyx shelf here, I've got some rulers and some more templates hanging so that I can get to them easily. And then this, <laughs> this is what I call my detail workstation. Um, anything that is tiny or needs painted. Um, what I mean by tiny is like jewelry making and stuff like that. Um, anything that requires a lot of time and energy and tiny things, uh, that lives here and gets worked on over here. So as you can see, I've been working on painting some stuff, um, finishing up some resin projects and everything sitting on there waiting to be finished. Um, but uh, let's go back over to my my calyx, I guess, and we'll start there. This is a very busy area, so um, I've got in here all of my 12 by 12 papers organized by color. Um, a lot of people have asked me where I got these plastic um, paper holders, I think. I got them at Hobby Lobby a long time ago, but I'm really not sure. I've had them for a long time, so I can't actually tell you. They are sagging a little bit because I have so much paper in them, but um, I eventually I want to upgrade to these guys here. Um, this one is from Stampin' Storage, and it's wood, and it's much nicer and very, very sturdy so I'll probably be upgrading at some point in the near future. The one down here is full of just solid like miscellaneous solid paper and a couple of patterns live down there. Um, further up on the right there are all of my paper packs that I didn't want to um, 
let me focus here, that I didn't want to separate out, so I put them in that bin over there. These are where I store some of my in-progress stuff that is going to take a while to finish. I just put it in those boxes there. There are some patterns in here, and up here is some more miscellaneous things and some more paper packs that I didn't want to separate out. My stencils are in that green binder on the end. And at the very top bleh, is some stuff for Geeky Gazelle in those boxes, mainly for conventions. Things that I don't sell normally on my shops, I keep in there so that I have them nearby, but not in the way. Um, then over here I have my Polaroid chain that I've had for a long time. I actually need to switch out some of those pictures, I think. And my create sign, my create sign's starting to fade. Um, I made it about 10 years ago. So it's about time to recover it with some paper and give it a new lease on life. But for now, it's still, still looking okay. So it gets to stay there. This area here is what I got asked the most about, probably. Um, so I'm going to try to break it down as much as I can. These are racks from Ikea that are meant for like knives. You hang knives and things on them. They're perfect for punches. I've got quite a few over here for all of my lever punches because I use punches a lot. Um, they prop them right up against the wall and out of the way. So it's, it's just great. I like having them at my fingertips, but having them neat and organized as well. Um, then these, these little colorful magnet strips are from Amazon. The company is called 3x3, um, and they make these little magnet strips in a bunch of different sizes and a bunch of different colors. So I have a bunch of them, <laughs> and um, they have on them my little spice jars. These are magnetic spice jars and they're from Ikea, but they've been discontinued. So you can't actually find them anymore. Um, I don't know if Ikea has a like alternative now or if they have a new one because I know that they do that sometimes where they get rid of stuff, but then bring it back a little different. Um, if not, you can probably find magnetic spice racks on Amazon or just probably in any home goods store if you look. Um, but in here is where all of my keychain supplies live. I make a lot of keychains for conventions, so that's where the, those supplies live. Then these tins came from the dollar bin in Michaels a very long time ago. Um, a couple of them came in the actual colors. Like I think the pink, the green, and the orange were actually those colors. But I spray painted the rest of them to match the room. Um, so that's where those came from. I seriously doubt that they still have them because it was a dollar bin and it was a long time ago. But um, you could definitely check and see if you can find anything like it. Um, then down here, um, these little cups obviously hold my scissors and things like that. Um, but they came from Hobby Lobby along with the little uh, boxes underneath. And I really, really liked them because they matched my color scheme perfectly. And I actually used them to kind of organize my color scheme into the stripes because I really liked the stripes. Um, so that's where those came from. And in each of those little boxes are just more supplies for making keychains. Um, then here, I also got these two bins here from Hobby Lobby, but they came from the clearance section. Ugh, down, back down on the floor. They came from the clearance section a while ago. Um, the green one I didn't alter at all, but of course I painted this one to make it match the room. So um, definitely check out Hobby Lobby at around like January, February, because they tend to have a lot of uh, really cool home accent things on clearance. And I've found a lot of really cool storage there that I've just painted or altered in some way and added it to my space. So that's where I got all of those. Again, more uh, bezels and glass live in that one for jewelry making and keychains. And then templates, more keychains and magnets live in that. Um, up on the top, I have 
my EK success punches that fold because they're amazing and <laughs> that's where they live. Um, they're really, really handy. I like them a lot. Um, I also have like toothpicks, tape for UV resin, a straight pin and stuff, just general things that I need to have on hand. Um, then here I have the little fox that I made so that I know what I'm painting when I paint all those foxes. A couple more punches. The little X in the background is a sticker maker from Cyron. I like it quite a bit. Um, the pink um, thing back there is my ATG gun for adhesive. And then I have a couple bottles of paint and my UV resin and some glue kept nearby so that I can uh, grab it on the on the fly whenever I need it. Um, then in the front here, whoop, this, um, I have two of these. They also came from Hobby Lobby. Um, I'm sure you can find them in any like scrapbooking area because that's usually what they're used for. They are fantastic. I've got all kinds of things in here that I need when I work just to have at reach. I've got pens and exacto knives and all kinds of things in there. And it's very, very helpful to have everything on hand. So that's where that all is. Hi, Marvin. Move on to under the desk because of course I've got stuff under here too. Um, these two boxes here are for more in progress stuff. Um, then I've got some stencils. Uh, mainly a circle stencil that I use quite a bit that lives right there along with this little pink tray that is for like glitter and tiny things that you can put back in to jars and bottles. It's very handy so I have one of those where I can reach it. Um, over here are seasonal papers. Christmas is in the top one and general seasons are in the bottom one. And then in the very top one is like sheet music and old book pages and things like that. Um, <laughs> then I have a cat and over here are small papers, like anything smaller than six by six lives in that little area. Um, over here are the rest of my plunger boards, um, a extra paper cutter, and the two notebooks are my stickers. Um, things like that live over there. And then this big guy here is my big, good paper cutter. Um, I keep it just there so that I can grab it because I use it literally all the time. Um, so I like to have it where I can reach it. And then um, back there, I have some magnets that I'm working on, <laughs> literally on a cookie sheet right now, make it nice and easy to access. Um, here's another one of those Ikea um, knife holder bar things. Um, you can see that little basket is made to go on them as well. I've got a couple more punches hanging out there. I've attached a um, power strip to the side of my drawer unit so that I have access, easy access to um, an outlet when I need it. Um, and then my trash can matches my chair and it's like that for all of my chairs throughout the room. Finally, to end this little area up, I've got, this is an Alex drawer unit, also from Ikea. Um, this top drawer is full of more jewelry findings. Um, it's a lot of jump rings and like smaller stuff. Um, I like to have it all at my fingertips so I keep it in that top drawer so that I can reach it really easily. That's why it's not in the bigger um, embellishment storages on that shelf. Um, and in here, these are a bunch of pre-cut papers for some of the stuff that I make. Uh, my paint pins live in here. I use them all the time so they're close by. I've got a little block of wood back there that I use as a base for drilling holes and things to protect my table, and then some glass paint there in the back. Then this drawer is for general tools and adhesives. Um, I've got all kinds of tools in here, mainly the screwdriver set that I use all the time. Uh, another block of wood, again, for protecting my surface while I'm working. Um, my uh, origami paper, which I didn't have a place to put, so it lives in here. 
Uh, but mostly this is adhesives, um, photo corners, um, epoxy stickers, things like that. And this is my resin drawer for UV resin. These are all um, embellishments for UV resin um, or regular resin. I use some of them for regular resin too. Um, organized in there. And then this is my UV lights for all of my UV resin. And then finally, this bottom drawer is all of my scrap paper. This middle desk here is my sewing desk. So, of course, my sewing machine lives here. Um, and it's mostly decoration, so this one's pretty easy. Up here, I have just a bunch of cute things that I've collected over the years. I put some of my favorite fabrics and embroidery hoops, so... That's where all of that lives. Um, here on this wall, I get asked about this a lot. Um, this came from Hobby Lobby, but it was black. So I just spray painted it to match my room. It painted really easily. So that's where that is from. Then here, this shelf also came from Hobby Lobby. Again, from that clearance area. So if you're around, definitely check that out. Um, these little tins on the top here are from Michael's dollar bin again. Um, they were just blue though. So I painted them. So that's where those came from. Um, again, probably about 12 years ago. So it's hard to tell where, uh, whether or not they will have anything like that again. Um, these little jars hold my buttons and some things. I believe I also got those at Hobby Lobby because I had the shelf there and I just wanted to make sure that I could find some jars that would fit it properly. Um, another one of those three by three strips um, is here with more of those tins that I painted from the Michael's dollar bin. Uh, also some more of these guys for scissors and things like that from Hobby Lobby. Um, button boxes. The little two came from Joann's. The big two came from Hobby Lobby Squirts. I painted them because they were just white and now they match my room. Um, some bags for jewelry storage, some other miscellaneous things. My patterns are in a basket back there. Um, I really like this because I found these little files from jamberry.com. They sell stationery and office supplies. And they match. I got a bunch of the little envelopes to match my room. So I put all my patterns in there so that they would match and look cute. I've got a little tag, um, like price tag gun in this little basket that I think I got from Wish um, for like a dollar. So it was very cute. And I added it to my collection of things. Um, and then on the table, of course, is my sewing machine and my cutting mat lives on the top there. Next up is this set of Alex drawers next to my sewing table. Um, mostly they're sewing supplies and miscellaneous things like that. Um, this top drawer has just a bunch of things that you need if you're sewing. Straight pins and um, safety pins, my sewing machine feet. Um, things like that. Um, got a couple of stencils in here as well. Um, the second drawer. These are the things that I'm currently working on. I just keep them tucked in this drawer so that I can get to them easily. Right now I don't really have a better place for them, but that drawer works really well for those. This is the home of my zippers and anything involving ironing, um, including my Cricut Mini Easy Press. Um, that lives there. Here is all the interfacing in the entire world. It's in that drawer. And then this bottom drawer is all of my scraps, just like in the other Alex unit, only this time it's for fabric. Um, underneath the desk is much less interesting than the other one. I just have polyfill, <laughs> a whole bunch of it. Um, back in the very back there is some stabilizer. And um, I have another outlet right there, another power strip. Um, on the front, you can see I added a 
strip of pretty paper, I mod podged it on there and added a um, ruler or a measuring tape so that I can have that while I'm working and it's come in handy so much. So that was a really good decision. I just mod podged that on there and it worked really, really well. And <laughs> lastly, I have a button coaster with all of my uh, straight pins on that little spot there. And then finally to end my little desk areas over here from this wall, this is my computer desk. Um, mostly the stuff over here is just really cool stuff I've collected over the years, like all of the stuff at the top. I've got some very, very cute stuff. Um, I've got these shelves are where the storage starts kind of. Um, these drawers here were from Hobby Lobby. Again, I painted them to match. I've got mainly just computer cords and stuff stored in there. Um, then my boxes over here were just white boxes from, um, I think I got them from Amazon, but I wrapped them in washi tape. So that's how I decorated those. And they have just miscellaneous computer and business stuff in there. Um, these boxes are full of shipping supplies. And then on this shelf is my printer and my label printer, as well as my controller for my Switch. Um, I have that hanging up there. I also, my favorite part of these shelves is... I have my pin collection. I collect a lot of enamel pins. Um, these shelves were chunky, so I was able to put a bunch of them on this front um, little lip of the shelf, and I love them. So I keep adding to my collection of pins on the fronts of my shelves. That's where those go. Um, down here, I have... Uh, it's just shipping supplies mainly for Etsy. And then um, my label maker is tucked back there in the back. Uh, my scale lives under there, that kind of thing. Um, my computer that I've had for almost 11 years and needs to be retired, um, but it's still chugging along. Um, my switch dock is there along with the TV. I occasionally do some Let's Play stuff over on my Geeky Gazelle YouTube channel. Um, so that's what um, all that is for. It's how I film all of that. This little thing here is a trash can. Um, I keep it next to my Cricut Joy because it's nice to have um, all of that uh, vinyl to have a place to go when I weed weed out everything. My Cricut Joy is there. And then all of the tools for it are in this little thing here. Again, I painted it, but I'm not sure where I got it from. Um, some more miscellaneous office supplies there and some books there. Um, but mainly that's my desk. It's not super interesting. Underneath, though, <laughs> Even less interesting is where all my shipping boxes live. It's a little hard to see because it's dark back there, but um, it, it's effective. That's not the best storage solution, but it's where they live. Um, and then my paper shredder, I also covered in washi tape so that it would match my area. And I've got a couple like um, tripods tucked back there. And that's about it for that little area. This giant monstrosity here is probably what I got asked about the most. I got so many questions. I'm actually going to make an entire separate video dedicated to this hutch here um, and how I painted it and refinished it and everything because it was very, a very large project. Um, and I want to maybe help out people who are going to try to do the same thing. Um, but in here... We'll start with the top. I have all of my books and in those little boxes there, I have a lot of the storage dividers for most of these um, storage bins that I have laying around. Um, this shelf on the bottom here is all of my sticker machines from Zyron. 
Um, they're very handy, so I have them in a bunch of different sizes. I also have some miscellaneous crafting supplies in those drawers at the top. Some more embellishments and miscellaneous things in these drawers here. And even more embellishments in, in these things over here. Um, on this side, it's mostly like fiber arts and stuff. Like on the very top, whoop, it is my yarn. And in that little anchor bag it are, um, I think my pom pom makers. Nope. My pom pom makers are not there. It is my crochet supplies that are in there. Um, this is my fabric shelf. Um, uh, I like having all of it nice and folded where I can see it. Um, I've got some, all of my solid fabrics down here. This box is where my pom pom makers are. Um, and then over here is some more sewing supplies, some, um, beans for different, um, like stuffed animals and things. You need them to weight down stuffed animals. Um, these are where my, uh, cross stitch stuff lives, like my, um, embroidery hoops. And then these are my sewing books, like plastic canvas and embroidery and things like that. And then on this wall, next to the hutch, I have hidden back there is um, just a bunch of foam core. I use it for a lot of stuff, so I keep it tucked um, nearby. And it's honestly kind of hard to store, so that's where I ended up storing it. Um, and on the wall here, these pockets are from 31, um, and they store my, the top one is for, um, uh, plastic canvas, and this bottom one is for embroidery and cross stitch. So I have my fabric in there. And if we move on to the drawers down here at the bottom, these top two that are next to my desk are my shipping supplies. I've got all my business cards and miscellaneous stickers and these are all of my back tags that I made. I might get them printed on Vistaprint and then cut them and put them in here. Um, and my bags and some packing tape are in there. And then this drawer is where my vinyl lives. It's not exactly organized, but that's where it lives. And this bottom one is just my filing cabinet. I keep all of my files and boring stuff down there. Um, this big drawer is for extra mailers. Bunch of mailers and stuff in there. Um, these two drawers are miscellaneous things that I use quite a bit. I know that I said that most of my stuff is miscellaneous, but I make a lot of miscellaneous things. So this is where all of my supplies live um, for various projects and things. Um, some paper and mostly painting supplies in this drawer. Um, and then this top drawer is all of the paint in the entire world is in that drawer. Um, this drawer over here though is probably my favorite. It's more fabric. These are my fat quarters and anything that's smaller than a yard. Um, but this is a super colorful drawer and I just love how it looks when I open it. Um, this one is full of felt. I use felt for a bunch of different things. So I have it in a bunch of different colors. And then here and here are perler bead supplies, all nicely organized into tiny, tiny bins and kept in that bottom drawer. I'm going to do my best filming this since it's on this window and this backlight is probably going to be terrible. But this is actually what I consider my main workstation, this table right here. It's where I do all of my resin work um, and anything that I need a large space for. So that's what I use this for. And it's very nice because this table actually folds out so I can fill in this entire room if I need to with a giant table. <laughs> so it's very convenient. It's a dining table from Ikea. I added casters to the bottom of it so that it rolls um, so that I can move it around easily. So that's what that is. It's got drawers on the sides as well. Um, inside of those are resin supplies. The middle one is my glue gun. 
Um, and then some silicone mats are in the bottom one. My resin lives on this cart here that I got from Michael's. It's got to get down on the floor again. Oh, man. Um, this cart has mostly my resin supplies in it. A couple of other things that I use frequently. Um, I keep them all nice and neat on this cart so that I can have them at my hands when I need them. Um, this window, however, I ran out of wall space, so I used the window. Um, and all of these little shelves are meant for the shower. They stick to the glass. Um, and they're really good in multiple temperatures and things like that. So I've had them up here for probably three years and I've had no trouble with them falling. So they're very, very good, um, shelves and adhesives. So I can highly recommend them. They're from Amazon. I'll try to leave a link down in the description. Um, I've got paper towels, miscellaneous supplies and goods, um, paint or not paint glitter and uh dye all of this is resin dye um this top two here are glitters and mica powders i've got another um three by three magnetic strip with some stuff in it and then on the window ledge i have another um one of those drawer units from hobby lobby and it has more mica powder. I haven't labeled the other three, but they've got tiny resin molds in them. I've got all my silicone mats in a little um, tin over there. Uh, my heat gun, another glue gun, and some disinfectant wipes, and another power strip. And that's mainly what's over here. This is where I do most of my work, though, so it's Everything that I need on a daily basis, all the time, I keep uh, over here. And then finally, this is my multi-drawer unit. This is another thing I got asked a lot about. So I got it at Hobby Lobby. I bought it at a discount some time ago because it was damaged. Um, obviously, I repainted it, so it looks very cute in my room. Um, it's also extremely convenient because it has so many drawers. Um, but I do think they still have it. So if you wanted to go to Hobby Lobby and see if you can find your own, they should still have it there. At least the last time I checked, um, the suitcase down here at the bottom is where I store my regular resin molds. Um, it's right behind my chair so I can reach them easily. It's just an old suitcase that I covered in fabric to make it nice and cute. Um, underneath the little unit here, I have my letter board letters tucked away so that I can change out my letter board without them being in the way. The cactus there is for my cat, Molly. Uh, she spends a lot of time with me, so she has her own little cactus bed. Um... My rulers live on this wall here. They're just on nails usually. So um, they're really easy to organize and keep where I can reach them. Um, the drawer unit itself mostly is home to a lot of pins, uh, markers, uh, dual pins, paint pins, Sharpies, anything that you can imagine there. Um, these bottom three large drawers are full of ribbon and the little cabinet there is where all of my like printer paper and stuff lives. Um, in here, this big drawer is where this is all the stuff for my button maker. Um, it's all in there. Let me see if I can get this to focus a little better. There we go. Um, and these top shell or drawers here are all washi tape. I have a lot of washi tape. I love it very much. So I keep it nice and neat and organized in these top four drawers. Um, 
might actually need to expand out because I am outgrowing it a little bit, but um, for now, that's where it all lives. Uh, this unit here is full of jour journaling cards. I also got this at stampinstorage.com. I think they make great stuff. It's a little expensive, but they make really, really good storage. Um, I painted it white and then I added my little embellishments on the front. Um, and then this top area is just some decorations and in those three boxes I have sandpaper and a couple of other like extra things that I keep stored away. I got those boxes on Amazon again a very long time ago um, so I don't think they have them anymore but um, you can probably find something similar somewhere I would check at Michael's or Joanne's but yeah that's that and that's about it. I really hope this video helped answer a lot of the questions that you guys had about what I did with all this stuff in the space and where it all came from. If not, then you can just leave me a comment down at the bottom of this video and I will try my best to answer it. Or um, you can message me, of course, on any of my social media, um, Facebook and Instagram, and I will do my best to answer um, any thoughts or questions. But I would love to know what you guys think of my space, if you like it or if it's a little too much. Um, just let me know down in the comments. Leave a like or subscribe if you want to see more, because I'm going to hopefully post some more videos like this, um, probably breaking down a lot of the stuff that I've made in this room and organized and used for my uh, decorations and stuff like that. So if you're interested in that, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!